Students, today we are going to solve a problem in relation to insolvency of all partners. Okay. Here, all partners are insolvent, which means the firm is unable to repay its external liability. What are all external liability? Credit are bills payable and bank loan. But in this problem, there is only one external liability called credit are. Okay. When firm unable to repay its business debt, we are calling it as insolvency of all the partners. So we have to prepare realization account, bank account, creditor account, capital account and deficiency account. Yes, look at the problem. A and B are partner, equal partner. Their balance sheet stood as follows. Liabilities, assets. Liability side, A capital is given. Creditor, asset side, Plant, furniture, debtor, stock, bank, and B's capital. B is overdrawn. The assets were realized as follows: stock, rupees three fifty; furniture, rupees two hundred; debtor, rupees five hundred; plant, seven hundred. The cost of collecting and distributing the estate came to one hundred and fifty. That is called realization expenses. A's private estate is not sufficient to pay his private liability. So A could not bring anything out of his uh, private properties. Whereas in B's private estate there is a surplus of rupees 50. So B brings rupees 50 out of his uh, private uh, estate. Yes. Now I am going to prepare a realization account first. What we have to do? We should transfer all assets to the realization account. For that entry, realization account data to all assets at book value. Yes, the values which are given in the balance sheet are called book value. So, realization account data to plant. Relation account data to plant. Value 1475. Then we have furniture. Then we have furniture. Furniture value 400. Then we have data. Then we have data. Data book value 500. Then we have stock. Stock book value 625. Bank. Bank account goes to the bank account. Yes. B's capital goes to the capital account. Now, first entry we transferred all assets to the relation. Entry for that is relation account data to all assets at book value. Then second entry we have to realize these assets. For that entry bank account data to realization the assets realizations are given in adjustment stock realized at 350 furniture realized at 200 data at 500 at last plant 700 so the total assets realized 350 200 500 and 700 so total assets realized for 1750. So assets transfer to the realization account, then we realize the asset. Then we should not take, we should not transfer creditor to the realization account. We should not transfer creditor to the realization account. Why? Because the firm is unable to repay the creditor. So creditor account recorded in the creditor account in credit side as by balance BD. So creditor account recorded in the creditor account credit side as by balance BD. The creditor account payable after preparation of bank account. Yes, what we did, we transferred all assets to the relation account, then we realized all assets, then creditor transferred to the creditor account. Okay. Now, we have the cost of realization expenses. It will, for that entry is relation account data to bank. Relation account data to bank its value 150. Now we have to close the realization account. It will show the loss. Debit side of realization account total 1475 plus 400 plus 500 plus 625 plus 150. So debit side total of realization account 3150 minus credit side value 1750. So the realization loss value 1400 it should be shared by all partner namely a capital and b capital a capital and b capital in equal ratio so equal ratio 1400 
should be divided in 1 is to 1. So 1 by 2, 1 by 2. 700 goes to A's capital, 700 goes to B's capital. So we prepared the realization account, the creditor transferred to the creditor account recorded in the credit side as by balance PD. The creditor will be partly settled after payment, after preparing the bank account. Now we have to prepare the bank account. Yes, bank account opening balance recorded in the debit side of bank account as two balance BD, two balance BD, 300. Then we can take bank from the realization account. Debit side, realization account, debit side via bank. This is for realization expenses. It will be recorded in the credit side of bank account as by realization. By realization, its value 150. Then in credit side of realization account via bank, that is for the realization of assets. It will be recorded in the debit side of bank account as to realization. As to realization, 1750. Then A could not bring anything, but B brought how much? 50 out of his private estate. For that entry is bank account data to B's capital. So it will be recorded in the bank account to B's capital. To B's capital, he brought how much? 50. Now, the balance of bank account payable to the creditor. So, the bank account balance how much? 300 plus 1,750 plus 150. So, debit side value 2,100. 2,100 of which they paid for relation expenses how much? 150. So, the balance of bank 1,950, it will be payable to creditor. It will be payable to creditor. So, for this entry is creditor account data to bank. So, in creditor account, it will be recorded in the debit side as to bank. The firm owes to creditor 3,900 of which 1,950 paid. So, balance considered as deficiency. So, the balance, so total payable to creditor 3,900 of which the firm paid the balance of cash or bank 1950 so the balance available is 1950 that we should consider as deficiency that we consider as deficiency so it should be so the balance of creditor account should be transferred to the deficiency account for this entry is creditor account data to deficiency so it will be recorded in the credit side of deficiency account as by creditor as by creditor value 1950 now we have to prepare the capital account now we have to prepare the capital account for that uh, we'll take capitals of a and b capital of a recorded in the liability side so in capital account a's capital recorded in the credit side value 600 the b's capital recorded in the asset side so in capital account debit side b's capital is recorded as two balance bd b's capital value 1200 then we transferred realization loss to the capital account. For this entry, A capital, B capital account data to realization. So, the capitals are recorded in the debit side. So, realization loss should be debited to realization. To realization, 700 goes to A, 700 goes to B. Then, A could not bring anything out of his real estate, out of his estate. But B brought how much? 50 out of his private estate. For that entry is bank account data to B's capital. Yes. So here B's capital recorded in the credit side. So we can write by bank in the capital account. The value 50 recorded in the bank uh, B's column. Now we will balance the capital account. Now we will balance the capital account. As far as uh, A capital concerned, debit side value heavier than credit side. So the balancing figure considered as deficiency. Balancing figure considered as deficiency. Balancing figure considered as deficiency. For this entry is A's uh, deficiency account data to A's capital. For this entry is deficiency account data to A's capital. So deficiency appeared in the debit side. In deficiency account, A's capital will be recorded debit side. Value under. Students, once again. A is debit side total heavier than credit side. So the balancing figure recorded as deficiency. For this entry is deficiency account data to A's capital. In deficiency account, debit side you can record to A's capital. Now we have to balance the B's capital. Students, 
Now we will close the B's capital. B's capital debit side value heavier than credit side. So debit side total 1900. Credit side value 50. So the balancing figure 1850 transferred to the deficiency account. For this entry is uh, deficiency account data to B's capital. So deficiency recorded in the debit side. So in deficiency account debit side we can record to B's capital. Value 1850. We should total the deficiency account, it should agree. So, debit side we got 1950, credit side also we got 1950. Students, we completed first problem in relation to insolvency of all partner in next class. We solve uh, one more problem in relation to the insolvency of partner. Thank you.